Hi, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. Today, in this video, I will share with you my Hobonichis. If you are interested in seeing my happy planners, I'm gonna make a separate video for that. And that is my everyday planner as well as my fitness planner. And then an additional video that I'm gonna make after that is the um, Passport Size Traveler's Notebook in which I use the A6 Weekly Supplement. And I thought that I'd uh, make that as a separate video only because uh, it's a traveler's notebook, which I'm using as my wallet versus keeping it in here with my Hobonichi batch. So today I plan to upload three videos. So first let's start off. This is my five year diary, A5 cousin size. Again, I didn't like any covers, so I made my own. This is my A5 cousin. And then this is my reading journal, which you'll see, you know, once in a blue moon, if I happen to read a book. And in this case, I did. And this is the zip cover, the boy and dog. So let's start off with this, just because there's not much to see in here. Uh, I am using an old A6 Techo, which I never finished using. So I uh, wash it up the used pages as well as put down some photos, which I won't share that. And I'm almost done, so that's kind of good. Um, so I've seen other readers um, print out photos of the book. Instead, I draw mines in and then watercolor it. So the book that I happen to finish reading for 2023, first book of the year, it's a book called Confessions on the 745, I think is the correct title. I don't have my reading glasses on, let me see. Yep, Confessions on the 745. So I put the start, end date, I read it as an ebook, the genre that it was in, the stars that I gave, and then generally I put quotes down. But because it's sort of like a thriller mystery, there weren't too many quotes that I wanted to memorize. And then if anything, I need to put down my final thoughts. Um, so I finished this book, I think on Wednesday or Thursday. And um, I'm still thinking about it. Uh, it was an interesting read. But so this is what it looks like. And then again, these are previous books that I've read last year, just to give you an idea of um, the doodling that I've done. So again, in a used A6 that I have not been able to complete. Now in here is my cousin. And my goal is this year is to try to keep it on the thin side. Uh, if you watched a video that I made a couple weeks ago, I showed you how chunky my 2022 got. And um, my goal is to try not to get it that thick. And so far, so good. This is almost a month in. So let's go to the monthly. So this is what I've been doing. So this is December. This is January, uh, really simple with the washi. I have been coming in and putting down stickers for um, anybody's birthday. I started a writing challenge last week and then a street cleaning and then the day my gardener comes just so that I know whether or not he came and then I can look back and remember. And then these are the days, the writing challenge that I'm in is 100 days. So I decided to write it up on the top line of the day so that that way I can um, see how far I'm in. Let's go to the weekly. So I've been keeping up with this, excuse me. Um, so today's Friday, I have laundry to do. But it's been really, really simple. And um, generally every morning, sometimes at night, if I know for sure what I wanna do, like I put down the sticker last night, knowing that I'm gonna be doing laundry, um, I will write down the things that I need to do today. So it's a sort of checklist for me and it works out, it works out. So I put washing on the bottom. If I had any packages, I would put it over here. And I've tried to keep it really, really simple just using, I'm trying to use up my stickers. So that is for the past couple of weeks. And then now let's go to 
Let's see, the thing I did want to show you though was the currently page. Since I read one book, I went ahead and wrote the title here. I am actually reading right now, I just started it last night, um, How to Sell a Haunted House. I think that's what it's called. Um, I need to put that down here. I'm hoping to finish and read three books for January, but I'll be glad if I can read two, which is more than what I did last year at this time. Now let's go to, and I picked up the uh, English version, Cousin. So the quotes down here are in English. So today's Friday, so I don't have anything down. And uh, just a little bit of stickers and um, things that happened. Weather on top, and I happen to like keep, I like to keep track of the weather so that I can look back and see how hot or cold it was during that time frame. Um, I find it really interesting and I also like to garden. So that also helps me decide if I can or cannot start seeds inside the house or outside the house early, if I should wait. Um, so that's why I like to keep track of the weather. So here's some more um, things that happened in the day using up my stickers. On Monday, I found a recipe. I follow Knott's Berry Farm. I live in Southern California. I used to be a Disneyland pass holder, um, but during COVID 2020, uh, we let our passes basically lapse. Disney also froze them. Um, but when we had the opportunity to keep it or let them go, we decided to let them go and we have not gone back. Um, I just don't think the value's there for us. Um, so I've been also following Knott's Berry Farm, which is also in um, Buena Park, Anaheim. And so anyways, I follow them on Facebook and somebody posted their chicken noodle soup recipe. So I decided to print that out and keep it in here. <laughs> this is Sunday. Uh, we finally took down our Christmas lights. Um, what I didn't draw here in the background is our fence, our driveway fence. But Bruce was in the window watching us. Um, I, thought, I just thought it would be too hard uh, and complicated to try to draw that in behind us. In this one, it was Saturday, it was raining a lot, and I finally got a chance to wear my yellow boots. And so that's why Bruce is sitting on our back porch <laughs> watching me. I was having fun walking in all the puddles that I could in the backyard. So when it rains a lot here, um, our backyard can get flooded. Uh, the ground has a really hard time absorbing the water and so I found a lot of puddles. I could try out my rain boots and I drew Bruce. Bruce does not like the rain. Uh, he doesn't like wet toes and so I just drew this picture wondering if he would like little booties for himself which and the answer is probably no because I can't even get him to wear a you know the hat or like clothes. Um, he'll only wear it for a second just long enough for you to take a photo and then uh, it's got to come off. So that's what this is. Really happy with my boots. Um, so this is Friday. I have garlic and I can't decide where I can, where I can plant them in the backyard. And so um, I wrote a yes column and a no column of plants that it would like and plants that it would not like. So um, anytime, I need to put a little tabby thing because any time for me when we buy garlic and we don't use it up and they start to sprout, I'll just plant them in the backyard. So I need to mark this page that I can remember that um, I have this down instead of having to always look it up. And then this is last Thursday when um, I got new my new boots and I think this is the last page that you guys saw. Now the last thing I wanted to show you is the um, A5 five-year diary Hobonichi once again I could not find any covers that I like so I made my own and so you can see this is like a cardboard I can't remember what we used what I used to cut it up but I found something really sturdy uh, to make as my cover and <coughs> and in here um, I decided to um, draw a picture every day so I'll take you back to the first, just to give you an idea of what I've been doing. This is the second. This is the B1B Lancer. That is a spoonbill. 
This is the Southwest Florida Eagle Egg hatching E21. E21 already hatched out next to its sibling E22. This is the bearded Reedling. That is a beaver. Shoe bill. This is a Holland Lop Rabbit. This one I did not like how it came out because I think my lines are too straight. Compared to, this is an, I can't pronounce it, Amame Rabbit. I know it's pronounced wrong. I enunciated it wrong. But um, Japanese Rabbit, it's a wild animal, not a pet. It's considered a living fossil. Now this is a Cashmere Lop. So, I don't know if you can see how I kind of, um, instead of a solid line, like this, this one, the lines are kind of a bit more broken up. And I like the way how this one turned out versus this one. Um, so that's something for me to think about. <laughs> Here's an elf owl. Again, I kind of wonder if I didn't do the straight line and sort of did that. If it, would, if it would have looked better. This is a yellowfish tuna. This one I used, um, I don't know if you can see the shimmering, you can. I can't remember the name of the paint, the watercolor that I use. But uh, I wanted to use the watercolor, so I tried to find an animal that had shimmery looks. And I think I accomplished it. Here's Jackie again. On the 14th, she laid her second egg. And I also gave her a little shimmery. Oh, because it, we've had uh, what the weatherman called a bomb cyclone. So we received a lot of rain here in Southern California. And up in Big Bear, they received um, quite a bit of snow. So on her nest, in her nest, uh, she had um, snow on there. So she kept incubating her eggs. And so that's why I use the shimmery white um, for her to represent the snow. So this is her kind of looking down on her eggs. This one I did in pencil. <laughs> and then over here I wrote down the year. So the year I sort of have hidden on the side of um, my drawing. This is a flapjack octopus, which I thought was really pretty. No shimmer on this guy. An ocean Scott sun fire. This one is a really neat fish if you can see it in person, you know, online with the photos. This one I was trying to draw a clam, trying to dig itself into the sand, and then, then the blue is the water. Uh, when I was younger, I used to um, raise clams. I used to have fish tanks, and I would buy uh, freshwater clams and let them dig uh, into the gravel. And I was just thinking about them yesterday for some reason, and I decided to sketch it, or actually on Tuesday, and I decided to sketch that in. I just, we enjoy this ride. It's uh, Mr. Toad's wild ride. And uh, so yeah, decided to draw him. Again. <coughs> Again, he's in pencil. And then I wrote down the year over here down the side of his leg. This is a dumpling squid. So this is Thursday's drawing. I need to watercolor him in. And again, over here, I am keeping track of the weather. I think it's gonna be really fun and interesting uh, as the years go by to keep track of the weather, just to see if there is any difference. So that's why I am doing that. And then here's Friday, nothing. So that is a flip through of my A5 five-year Techo diary. And then this is the presentation that I have for you for my three Hobonichis. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you would like to see after the pin videos of my planners. And I hope to see you in my next video, which will be my happy planner. Thank you. I'll see you guys later. Bye.